Da, da, da. You guys ready for it? There is a program called Octavia that thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of people do. A few moments later. Is this even worth it? Like, this food sucks. Hello everybody. So today is the first day that I am going vegan. I am super, super nervous, anxious. I'm so nervous and anxious that my stomach actually hurts. <laughs> but I'm also really, really excited to go on this journey. A few moments later. Someone said she was only a vegan for four days. She already is back to eating crap like she was before. No, I was a vegan for six days, actually. <laughs> and the process of being a vegan is so freaking hard. Hey folks, it's me again. We've had a lot of Emberlyn and Destiny drama lately, and the mood has been a little bit sour. And until they do something worth reacting to again, we're gonna go old school and sprinkle a little bit of humor and lighten up again. As the title suggests, we're going to be looking at Amber Lynn's dieting adventures. I'm in no way making fun of her, but it's just her documentation of her journey is the funniest shit on YouTube, man. I'm sorry, girl, but you are funny and you don't even know why. Let's begin comparing her enthusiastic beginnings to her eventual surrender. It's going to be a riot. Stay tuned. Hello. It's ready. Hey, guys. So... I'm so excited to talk to you about what's about to go down. This is not clickbait in the slightest. Things are about to change. I haven't- Yes, girl, we're rooting for you. Things are gonna change. Y'all know what's coming up, right? It's the Octavia Gate. I'm sure she's given this one a good go, right? I haven't been this pumped and this amped, this excited and anxious in a very long time. So, <laughs> da, da, da. you guys ready for it? There is a program called Octavia that thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of people do. Okay, you guys, welcome to day three. I'm warning you, you better not. If you tell me I swear, if you tell me that you've decided to quit after day three, after I spent so much time listening to this shit about Octavia and your research, I'm gonna lose my mind. I was getting into my head so bad. So I was starting to get down and out at that point. Um, at that point, I had some friends over. We were about to have more people over. We were gonna have a bonfire. And I was just like, is this even worth it? Like, this food sucks. So we were having a bonfire and everyone was sitting around with their hot dogs and their chips and their this and their that. And I'm just like, can't have any of it. <laughs> like emotionally, I was a wreck, but like physically, I felt so good. My mind and my brain was like, it's like a fog was lifted. It's wild. It's a really wild ride and it felt really good. But again, I was living in fear. What? It's truly remarkable how she's had real profound trauma, the kind that actually instills genuine fear, and then she equates it to the experience of being on a diet. Emberlyn, you should really know from your own experience the true essence of actually living in fear, which undoubtedly does not involve setting a lower calorie limit for a day that you've spent with your friends. And I was trying to find tons of excuses to quit. I'm gonna be honest, I was trying to find every excuse to quit and I found one. Hands up if y'all are also fools like me who thought that she was gonna say, but I stuck to my guns and I didn't find an excuse. Dude. This is Amberlynn Reed. So I got to thinking. I was like, how many calories am I eating in a day doing this program? So I logged everything into my fitness pal from day one and day two, and it was only about 900 calories. So I got a little freaked out. I, I honestly was freaking out. I'm gonna be real. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, if you find yourself justifying consuming 6,000 calories while struggling to accept 900 calories, then something definitely seems a mess. I'm gonna be real. I know a lot of weight loss patients eat around that amount. It's like 900, 1200, and then eventually they eat 1500. And that's how it is with this program. You start off by eating 900, 
and then once you get closer to goal you start eating more and they start teaching you how to not eat their feelings but <laughs> i have to tell you i read a comment that said that they thought that every time ember lynn said fuelings from this octavia thing they thought that it said feelings and it it kind of fit but it made the whole thing just so much funnier not eat their feelings but choose healthier meals throughout the day and eventually your calories do rise and get higher and i started getting freaked out i also had a lot of people in my ear telling me yeah 900 calories seems too little and all this stuff and i was just like getting scared but the thing was I wasn't hungry at all I felt satisfied and every time it was time to eat again I was like I wasn't even hungry and I just felt really really good so I messaged my health coach and I told her I don't think I can do this anymore I ended up having brown rice that night which you're not allowed to have on program <laughs> and I had a cup of noodle so I ended the day at about 1600 calories so i was like okay so i'm gonna stop doing optavia and i am just going to you know eat less and eat healthy why am i doing optavia like this was the worst idea i've ever came up with might i add um she started shitting on this company afterwards um so you geared your audience up and told them that this is the shit that's gonna work and you told them that, you know, they also need to go on Octavia. They can research. And from your own hours and hours and hours of research, you found how good it was only to come off it three days later and then shit on the company. Up well. with. Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of Operation Curvy Calories. Hey guys, so normally I would say welcome to Operation Curvy Calories, but... I feel like Operation Curvy Calories is under construction, if you will. I decided that I'm no longer going to be doing it because... <sighs> Incoming the mental gymnastics that Amberlynn will go through to convince us that she needed to quit this diet too. And oh, if you're new here, by the way, you should know that Amberlynn is a masterclass expert in justifying the unjustifiable. The thing is... I lost majority of my weight by not filming every single move. Hey guys! Okay, so woke up to a new video. We are in my bathroom. This is good lighting. I love my shower curtain. I don't see anything wrong with it. But um, I did wake up recently. Another disclaimer. So this video is about weight loss. I'm going to be sharing my weight, what I'm going to be doing to lose weight and what I'm just gonna be doing to continue this journey. I've been hearing about this app for a while now, and like I've been saying, I need to try something new because all this stuff I've done before clearly isn't working. The app is called Noom. But you just said, you just said that these things don't work for you and that apparently you work better when you do it yourself and you don't show what you're doing. I can't keep up with you. Hey guys, so welcome to a new video. Today is a weigh-in, weight loss, explaining my thoughts and where I'm going from here type of video. I can already see the fire in people's eyes but that's okay this is about me this is my journey this is no one else's journey <laughs> no 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 i can't i can't do this no you cannot tell me that she's not taking the piss y'all and as long as i'm losing weight who cares if i changed my diet or eating lifestyle 17 times a day uh me you know why because We've got this 500 pound woman who's going to shed a bunch of weight and I want to see that because you've got us all amped up, ready for this big event, but it's like starting a show only to have the director suddenly go, mm, I'm not feeling it today and they quit. Imagine this happening with every single show you watch for the rest of your life on Netflix. By this point, we're all so invested, caught in this frustrating loop, and we just can't escape. This is the entire state of your YouTube channel at the moment. Today. So what I'm going to be doing is the good old, wonderful, fabulous, inspirational, 
Weight Watchers. <laughs> We're going back to the Weight Watchers. And it is what it is. It's just what I feel is right for me in this moment. Hey guys, so welcome to a new video. This video is all about my weight. So, I, uh, I was gonna keep this to myself because I know how people react to things and that's totally fine. But I actually am starting Jenny Craig tomorrow. The future isn't looking very promising, judging by the past. So you should have kept it a secret. Let's see how this one ended. Hey guys, so welcome to day six. Hey guys, so I stopped filming after this because I did overeat. Um, <laughs> some will call it a binge. So it was probably 10 minutes after the meal that I showed you guys. Why am I here? And why are the rest of you here? I, I just want to know. I am so hungry. I need all the food. And I was like telling Becky, I just want something unhealthy. So that's what happened. And I mean, it is what it is. I'm here to be honest. Hey guys, so welcome to a new video. I know you guys are probably rolling your eyes at the title, which I understand. Like, yes. Yes, Amberlynn, we are rolling our eyes because now this has become a compilation. Like, you guys see me as this very indecisive person and I am an indecisive person. I live with myself 24 seven. Um, just imagine how Becky feels. So yes, I will be doing Jenny Craig again. Hey guys, so welcome to day three of Jenny Craig. Oh, I'm struggling really bad. I want to order food. I want to just not care because for me today is a Sunday. It is Sunday currently. And I'm like, okay, well, tomorrow's Monday. I could just start over. That's where my head's, like, currently at right now. Oh, God. Why is she calling it Jenny Craig? Isn't it Craig? To be honest, though, that's the least of our problems right now. I ate my bar, I want to say it was about an hour and a half ago. And, uh... While I was eating it, it was tidying me over, like, great, fantastic, and now I'm just like, oh my god, I would kill for, like, a big bowl of pasta. So, that is my update. And I told myself, you know what, even if I, like, fail more than I don't not fail, wait, what? Even if I fail more than I succeed, or vice versa for the next 30 days I will be just talking about what I'm eating and following my my weight <laughs> and how exactly does that fix anything you talking about your weight is gonna magically make it disappear hey guys so welcome to day zero of a new series and I am so excited okay okay Stop the video here and tell me what you think her next diet is going to be. I'm going to say, mm, is it going to be Weight Watchers again? Or maybe Noom again? It can't be Jenny Craig, right? <laughs> what? I've been on a weight loss journey literally since I was 11 years old. And I have done nothing but lose and gain the same like 100 pounds repeatedly and... I reached my highest weight of 572.4 Then I was able to lose almost 100 pounds recently and I ended up gaining a ton and now I'm sitting here around 550 and I feel miserable, I feel horrible, I am ashamed, I'm disgusted, I'm embarrassed. So this series is called Curvy Calories. I was actually thinking about that one but I just didn't say it. Ugh. And I know I've done something like this before, and I literally only lasted a couple days, but there's something different. You don't even sound like you've convinced yourself I did there. It. Curvy calories was great in context, but constantly filming my food thoughts is a new trigger for me. <gasps> Not again. She didn't. Oh, she did. Weight loss content? Sure. 
but a daily basis series. It's an idiotic, impulsive thought. I actively jumped on the go and made a fool out of myself. Yet again. Well, folks, thanks for watching. This was fun. As always, I'm looking forward to your comments, and I will see you very, very soon, my loves. Goodbye.